Professor Clements with you talking about batteries that have internal resistance. This relates to the uh, OpenStax College Physics textbook chapter 21 material. Let's say we have a 9 volt battery that has an internal resistance of 0.6 ohms. When we connect the battery to a resistor, the current we find in the circuit is 300 milliamps. What's the value of that resistor? Well, to help us uh, solve this problem, let's sketch out the circuit. So we have our 9 volt battery, the EMF would be 9 volts, it has internal resistance. The square, the rectangle here represents the uh, shell of the battery. We have our external resistance R. We know that the terminal voltage of a battery is equal to the EMF minus the current times the internal resistance. So current minus internal resistance is a voltage drop inside the battery. The potential difference is equal to current times the total resistance. So current times total resistance. 9 volts is our battery, our EMF here. 0.3 amps is what we've observed for the current value. The resistance is the external resistor plus 0.6 ohms, the internal resistance. So V equals I times R. We can divide both sides by the 0.3 and we get 30 on the left. We have R and 0.6 on the right side. We subtract the 0.6. The resistance value is 29.4 ohms. 29.4 ohms. So a simple application of uh, our concept here with um, voltage, potential difference, equals current times total resistance. Do you think the terminal voltage is 9 volts? concept question here. Is the terminal voltage 9 volts? And the answer is no. The terminal voltage is going to be 9 volts minus this current of 0.3 amps times the 0.6 ohms. 0.3 times 0.6, that's uh, 0.18. So we'd have uh, really 8.82 volts if I've done that uh, subtraction correctly in my head. It would be our terminal voltage. Still not bad, near 9 volts. So keep practicing. That's a just short little video on internal resistance.